The need for people to have good health can never be overemphasized as it enhances productivity in man. Healthy populations live longer, are more productive, and save more. Better health has impact on development and poverty reduction, and this explains why governments at different levels initiate policies aimed at boosting investment in health and to ensure that health is prioritized within overall economic and development plans. The determination to preside over a healthy population has occupied very central position in the policy thrust and programs of the Delta State Government under the leadership of Governor Arthur Ifanyokoa. Suffice to say that the Health for All Deltans campaign, which is the underlying philosophy in the introduction of contributory health insurance, appears to be gaining a prime place in the heart of many. Prior to the introduction of the Contributory Health Insurance Scheme, the state government has religiously pursued the policy of free maternal, newborn and the under five medical treatment. The aged and widows have not been left out as the state made adequate provision for free treatment of 20 widows in each of the 270 wards in the state. This is in addition to the payment of 5,000 Naira monthly stipends to this vulnerable group to cushion the effects of the harsh economy on them. Okowa is already catering for 5,550 widows. Okowa is touching the grassroots. Since my husband died, no let me they care for the children, nobody, only one kilo. But since when Okowa come into my life, my life changed. Since when Okowa say make a no fall, Okowa self no go fall. Okowa go stand gidigba. He go continue to feed us. Governor Okowa's desire for a healthier delta has been complemented by the activities of the First Lady, Dame Edith Okowa, who has continued to advance the crusade for improved living condition in both rural and urban centers and among the vulnerable groups. Dame Edith Okoa has religiously demonstrated deep commitments to reach out and make the world around her better through the instrumentality of our pet project, the O5 Initiative. The programs of the O5 Initiative are a perfect complement to the smart agenda of the Governor of Delta State to bring prosperity to all Delta. Our objective is to care for the less privileged and add value to their lives. Key to her projects and very dear to her heart is the fight against sickle cell disorder. Her compassion in this regard has so far led to the establishment of 12 sickle cell clinics in 12 local government areas of the state. Because of the clinic that is ongoing at all times, we hardly see them in such states. That's to tell you that the program is working. Her excellency is really doing us well. The O5 initiative upped its ante as it went a notch higher to provide free grassroots medical outreach in collaboration with Restore Site Africa Initiative and the Primary Healthcare Development Agency under the Ministry of Health. On Monday, April 18, 2018, the O5 initiative flagged off a healthcare program in Ikano East local government area. And for four stretch months, the team traversed the length and breadth of the state, taking health care to the doorsteps of Deltans. For every local government covered by the medical outreach team, tears of joy and testimonies of improved health condition resonated so profoundly. Dame Edith Okoa strongly believes that the best sacrifice one can make is to make the world better for everyone, to feel the blessings of God. Her most recent project tagged 
Operation Restore Sight Initiative was targeted at reducing the burden of blindness and other related cases to the barest minimum. If, like say, on my own, I could spend a lot of money to go through this operation, but it was done free. This eye, not be my money, not be my everything. Okowa give them to me back. As the medical train continued its outreach and birthed in Okwani, the 16th local government area, it recorded 1,227 registered patients, 718 received glasses, and 508 persons got drugs, while 126 persons were operated upon. I'm very happy for this opportunity where Okowa bring also for this our data state to help those that cannot help their eyes. So I thank Okowa. You and your wife go last. The favor what you do for me today, now God and I go pay you. Everywhere you go. Okay, Ijala, who developed growth in his eyes and suffered much pain, was appreciative of such gesture. Other beneficiaries were Beauty, Imorabo, Janet, Ukurebo, and Maria. A non worry who narrated their ordeal. If we are blind, if we can't see, then what's the prosperity? This is the prosperity we are talking about. I'm going to turn it again for the second time. If they need it for the third time, they let me know. Don't decide to stop work because of the because of the embarrassment. Now the difference is clear. I they thank Okowa wife with Okowa. That governor when you did, you go still go another one. You go go, you go go, you go go, you go go forever. I'm really grateful for the surgery i'm happy that i did spend money and the tea just came like that now nah, it's all over thanks to okoa and his team you better run run come come to delta stage come and see the good things where okoa he they do you better run come come to delta stage come and see the good things where okoa he they do i see your job and wealth creation in delta make the youth say them hila okoa I say good roads everywhere in Delta make the people say them cola. It was all praise galore as indigents of Wari South local governments expressed gratitude to Dame Edith Okoa and the medical team for bringing the outreach to their doorsteps. For the likes of Ernest Amarachi, who dropped out of school in primary six due to eye challenge, hope was restored upon the realization that they would now get back on track to fulfill their dreams. Because of my eyes, I stopped in primary six. Mrs. Okowa, thank you for doing this eye for me. May the good Lord bless you. 18 year old Daniel Enikan, whose eye challenge was caused by poorly managed measles infection and also 19 year old Awowo Oyeneo Gaga whose education was affected as a result of cataract had so much to tell. I can feel relief now, I can see now. I can see now. Do you help me be able to read my books more? At the end of a three days medical outreach in Wari South, 1,550 registered persons were attended to out of which 828 got free medicated glasses and 377 persons got drugs while 121 were operated upon. Over 3,000 persons benefited from the free medical outreach which held for three days in Uwe local government area. Some of the beneficiaries include 86-year-old Michael Edu, who was blind in both eyes and had not seen his son for over 15 years. Esther Dijalaje, a trader from Alaja, who severally fell victim of fake Naira currency and underpayment as a result of her eye condition. My bracket now go trade and where see they give people change where before they give people over. At times they give me fake money. Governor wife, I treat Sam for everything when he do. I say, may God bless Sam more abundantly. The high rate of Terry Jam in Uwe local government area became a source of concern, so much so that people were hesitant to undergo surgery for fear of reoccurrence. However, 
Dr. Ernest Ogbedo enlightened them while assuring that appropriate measures were taken by the O5 medical team to forestall the regeneration of the condition. We particularly know that one of the complications of pterygium is the reoccurrence. That is, it might come back because we are in tropical Africa where the sun is high, where we are exposed to wind, where we are exposed to dust and we are exposed to a high amount of sunlight. There are measures we do right there in theatre to reduce the reoccurrence of pterygium and we take measures about that and reduce it to the barest minimum. The success stories continued as Esther John and Gift if it were who developed eye cataract for two years as a result of diabetes and Mrs. Asekute Felicia who has been blind since 2012 tell their stories. They said the program has not only restored their sight but also restored their dignity in the society. Uh, okay, now. Obi on ama ke mu ke mama ri wolo oru amama a pa ba pe yo mi doctor na eyan yo mi ya mara eyan yo mi ya mara ni o da jesu o saturday na na won i the first do yesterday ko do the sick eye so na we be the most happiest gay na as present na my eye be like newborn baby eye i can see everybody faces i can see everything around me the God are using to put cataract out of our eyes will take him to the next level. Out of 107 surgeries carried out in Sapele local government, the case of Obaro Chokes, Opiti Frank, and Theresa Obarako, who were unable to see clearly, stood out. They thanked Dame Edith Okoa for doing what others could not do to make the world a better place. I can see clearly with that eye, the image or object it picks looks sharper than the other one now. I'm seeing clearly now. So I thank God for everything. I thank the governor for what they have done. God will see them through. I was sick that I'm already finished. Yesterday now when I caught a bit from my eye, they very fine and see fine. Only what I want to do for Kokoa uh, to now do for me now blessing. God go give a good head. Meanwhile, Alfred Osai, patients Obojo, who could not see for some years, tell their different stories. Okoa go be present, go up, 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 up. I go vote for her. First thing to do my for me, I not go vote for her. I go vote for go win. Mrs. Miracle Awala, Benson Yabeke and Messi Onodawero, who were part of the 881 persons given free eyeglasses, assured Governor Ifanyokoa of their support in the next election in 2019. Before if I'm reading, my eye used to itch me and used to bring out water. So I am thanking Mrs. Sokowa today, the Excellency. You may live long. 2019, we are still going to vote for you again. My problem was how to read. But by the grace of God, with what I'm putting on, I can read well, so I thank Mrs. Okowa, who has made this possible for us. By 2019, we will vote for them. Right in the heart of Koko in Wari North local government area, Jambul Onomodeke and his counterparts, Alina Kakpala and Daniel Ogbomoto, narrated their ordeal. Before, if you close this one, just say, what approved with my eye. I know they see another person. But now, if you close this one, they see you fine. My wife hold me on my hand to come because I don't see her at all. But after the surgery, after they have taken care of me in the hospital here, I'm seeing them clear. Everything is clear in my heart. This miracle, when God sent them to come, he Lord. God will give them long life. 30-year-old Florence James, whose eye challenge started 20 years ago, and Mr. New Year Benzie, an indigenous of Bielsa State, who said he abandoned his fishing business as a result of his eye condition, have joined beneficiaries who can now share the story of improved sight. Four persons in a family benefited from the outreach. 28-year-old woman Rita Obunna, her 55-year-old mother, and her 82-year-old grandmother undergoing bilateral surgery, while her aunt also received free bifocal eyeglasses. Thank God say, God send Okowa, come, come do our eye. Nana, 
I'm very, very happy. I'm up too much happy. A 66-year-old Justida Sibe from Isaba, Thursday, Tubofa from Okrika, Brutu local government area, an 84-year-old trader from Ayakaruma community, Mrs. Angelina Dick, as well as a 70-year-old palace chief in Ogwijo, Chief Paul, Yena Nagbea, among others, were operated in both eyes. They expressed gratitude to the wife of the state governor and founder of the O5 initiative, Dame Edith Okoa, for making the program free for all. Both the two eyes, I cannot see well. I even thank God to Okoa, with his wife, has operated my eyes successfully. I have no way to go and see Okoa. You that come here to operate, the doctors will extend my greeting to Okoa and his wife. You walk while God said no call a wife come to for me. It's to say for you. The eye now do free. So I thank God for in life. I make God uplift them. Okoa and I do for me. Oh my car is this year now you own. The time when they go vote now him I go vote for. Me I see clear. Okoa is the highest. God go bless her. Anywhere you go in and I go raise up. The medical team was attracted to two year old Timmy suffering from Marasmus, a condition of severe malnutrition, who was being taken care of by a cellophane seller, Madame Elizabeth Wefawa. Dr. Ernest Ugbedo gave the girl close attention, emphasizing that O5 initiative medical outreach was all encompassing as it was targeted at putting smiles on the faces of the less privileged. This child has lost more than 65% of the weight. And if you look at the child, it's quite pathetic. It's not what we came for, but indirectly, it's part of what we come for, to put smiles in the face of the people. The event featured distribution of family planning kits, mosquito nets, and soya bean powder, screening and treatments of malaria, hypertension, among others. Not less than 40 persons successfully underwent cataract and other eye defect surgery at the Free Grassroots Medical Outreach at Akukuigbo General Hospital in Oshimili North Local Government Area. It was a joyous moment when bandages were removed from their eyes. <laughs> Eighty-four eye surgeries were carried out. Beneficiaries of the eye surgery include 76-year-old Josephine Eguatu from Ibuzo, who suffered blindness for three years and had no child to attend to her. I'm happy because I don't believe say I go take this my eyes here again because I haven't get anything, no picking, nothing. Oko, our wife, God bless her for me, for this eye when he do for me. The youngest of the surgery beneficiaries is 24-year-old student Jennifer Peter, who suffered pain in one eye owing to cataract. An indigenous of the area resident in Oshun State's charity Oko City was blind in one eye for two years, which affected her business and the family suffered greatly. I thank God that I benefit. I'm crying that my husband died. But God give me favor. I can see with the eyes now, unlike before. I want to thank God Almighty, thank her and so let's say, and say may God enlarge her cause. 62-year-old Cyril Okenyi from Okwanam was totally blind in both eyes for five months and could not afford the bill when he sought medical treatment. God will bless him, front and back. They and other beneficiaries, including those who received free eyeglasses and free eye ointments, thanked the wife of the state governor and founder of the O5 initiative, Dame Edith Okoa, and her partners for the kind gesture. I'm happy that I received healing. They gave me eye drop and glasses for the healing of the eyes. I appreciate governor and the wife so much for the way they remember the poor masses.
the grand finale of the medical outreach was in Oshimile South. Here, the governor, Senator Dr. Arthur Ifanyokoa, graced the occasion and was received in grand style by the large crowd that turned out to be attended to by the medical team. The governor, who appreciated the O5 initiative and its medical team for their commitment and sacrifice towards the well-being of the poor and vulnerable in the society, rewarded Dr. Christina Umolo of the Restore Site Africa initiative with automatic employment to the state civil service for contributing immensely to the outreach. When they started, I did not expect that it would take this level and magnitude that it has taken. That 2,008 surgeries have already been done and sites have been restored. Outside the several thousands have been given glasses. It is wonderful and I thank God because imagine that those 2,000 something people would have been blind or partially blind. And as I thank her and her team, I want to truly appreciate Dr. Ukwedo. That which is done for the poor and for those who are in need, that is the one that touches the heart of God. Dr. Honorede Christiana Molo, who I'm told is an ophthalmologist, has been working with you in the course of this movement. And meanwhile, she is not yet gainfully employed. Dr. Pemu, Give her an instant employment. The wife of the governor, Dame Edith Okoa, whose joy knew no bounds as she danced to acknowledge the hand of God in the many breakthroughs of the outreach, appreciated all for their tremendous support to the program. Today is a perfect day to appreciate all those who have contributed to making the dream of many people regaining their sight a reality. I also wish to personally thank Restore Sight Africa, who spent 72 days outside the comfort of their homes just to see that this program was a success. The Commissioner for Health, Dr. Modi Ononye, and the coordinator, Restore Sight Africa Initiative, Dr. Enes Ugbedo, and other dignitaries at the grand finale say the turnout and cooperation of Deltans through the 23 local government areas visited have been very impressive. Many persons have been informed of this good work and are turning up in their numbers to assess the eye care being provided. It's been overwhelming for all of us. We didn't even know in our time we are going to see all of this. We're very happy. Since we started the medical outreach, when we go to any local government and we see the magnitude of work coming, you just somebody coming and say, ah, please, just take this 500,000. Some even donating 20,000 according to their strength. So it is just people that are committed to doing good. When it came to Europe, apart from the team that came to do it, the hosting, the everything, was the thing done by ourselves in Europe. So she's not carrying money from government house for this project. The event witnessed immunization, distribution of treated mosquito nets and reading glasses. Surgeries were also performed to correct cataract and other eye defects. We had a lot of persons, even double the number that we have seen in any local government. So those who miss the opportunities in the local government have to call in their family members to come and take advantage of the free medical treatment and we saw it in Asaba. We also have other non-indigenous, the Yorubas, every other tribe as reflective of Nigeria, they live in Asaba so they also took advantage of the free medical treatment. 173 successful surgeries for cataract and other eye defects were recorded in day three of the Oshimali South 05 Initiative Grassroots Medical Outreach. It was tears of joy and celebration as plasters were removed, ushering the beneficiaries into a new world of sight amidst familiar sounds. Due to the huge turnout and the successes recorded each day, the event was extended by one more day 
making it a four-day affair. Dame Edith Okoa was on hand daily to share their joy. For Dame Edith Okoa, the task to make the world a better place is a duty that requires all hands to be on deck, one person at a time, until everyone feels the joy of a better society. Come and see the good things where Okoa he they do he better. Run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa he they do. I see a job and wealth creation in Delta. Make the youth set them higher. Okoa. I see good roads everywhere in Delta. Make the people set them taller. Come live in Delta. Tell me I say. Come invest in Delta. Come explore the potentials of our state.